guys, my name's Savannah. This is Little Serious Grey. <laughs> and you're watching Nerdy Cat 96. So, in the month of September, I read 22 books. I know, amazing, right? No. <laughs> I'm in a children's literature class, so nine of those were picture books, and then there were some other ones that are very short and unimpressive in here. I'm going to start with the picture books that I read, just to get them out of the way. I'm not going to be telling you the synopsis of them. I think that it would probably be quicker for you to just find them and read them if you're interested. These are all Caldecott Metal winners, which just means they were awarded the most distinguished picture book for the illustrations. So the awards are given to illustrators and not like the writing specifically. I read Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims to Back, The Lion and the Mouse by Jerry Pinkney, The Adventures of Beagle, The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santat, This Is Not My Hat by John Classen. This one is so cute. This is possibly like my favorite one because it's kind of like funny at the end. So if you are looking for literature to read your children, I would suggest this one. It's adorable. I read Where the Wild Things Are by Marie Sendak. The House in the Night by Susan Marie Swanson and illustrated by Beth Croms. Croms? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. I read May Lee by Thomas Handforth. And I read The Big Snow by Berta and Elmer Hader. So I read all nine of those books in one day. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to go in order of when I finished each of these books. The first book that I read in September was When My Name Was Kayoko by Linda Sue Park. And this is actually about a very interesting piece of history that takes place during World War II. It follows a girl and her brother who are Korean and they're living in Korea during World War II obviously, but Japan had actually conquered Korea during that time, like many years before they even launched an attack on the United States. They actually like forced the Korean people to give up their language, give up their names, give up their entire culture. The Japanese culture was just forced on the Korean people. And so this story, it's historical fiction, but it follows these two children who grew up during this time and how that affected their lives and the little ways in which they rebelled. And it's a really beautiful story and I really enjoyed it. So I gave it five out of five stars. I am a huge Adventure Time fan. I was really sad about the show ending. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I was a reread via audiobook, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Bass. If you don't know, I am rereading the entire Throne of Glass series via audiobook right now in preparation for the release of Kingdom of Ash, which is coming out close to the end of this month, I think October 23rd. Yeah, rereading it, this was 5 out of 5 stars. I got right back into the world. I love it so much. I know that like these books get a lot of like hate, but there's also obviously a giant like fan base. I would definitely not consider myself like a crazed fan. Like if you don't like the book, that's totally fine. Or if you don't like the series, that's fine. I know that people find like problems with it and stuff, but I just really enjoy it and I enjoy the story and it means a lot to me. And I love the series way more than the Akatar series. The next book that I read this month, Helium by Rudy Francisco, and this is actually a poetry anthology, and it was very interesting. He's a social activist, so there are definitely some poems that talk about that, plus more. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. There were some poems that were like a little bit too heavy on the metaphors for me. I might just be stupid, I don't really know. But like some of the times I didn't really fully understand what he was talking about or referring to when he used certain metaphors. My favorite poems were Drive, When People Ask How I'm Doing, Vanish, Mercy, and Complainers. The fifth book that I read this month was The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. 
and um this is a classic this one was like definitely interesting my only problem with like most classics in general is that the language is very old but i did also while reading this look up like the spark notes and everything so i did read it i know that spark notes is like commonly used to show that you have read this for school just because i wanted to fully understand what was going on in the story so yeah it was very interesting i did like enjoy it but i only give it a three out of five stars because it was so hard for me to understand i know that probably makes me sound like a dumb 20 something woman but i don't really care classics are freaking old so the sixth book that i read in september is actually a chat book and it's going down friend by david james but it's only 18 pages long i do really like his poetry a lot of his poems in this particular book did kind of make me feel like afraid about getting older and stuff because a lot of them are about aging and like death the next book that i finished in September was Crown of Midnight, which I also I read as an audiobook. I don't think I need to really go into detail on this. This was one was also five out of five stars. The next book that I read this month is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This one was definitely a five out of five stars for me. I'll link my review to the whole series at the end of this video, so you'll be able to check it out if you haven't yet. The next book that I read in September is Scarlet. I rated this book four out of five stars. The next book that I finished in September was Caress. <laughs> The next book that I finished last month was a book that I had to read for my children's literature class and that was The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I gave this like three and a half out of five stars. There were a lot of annoying problems that I had with it. I do still think that it makes the tragedy of what happened to Jewish people during World War II palatable for children and it is a middle grade kind of novel but yeah the the voice is a young german boy named bruno his dad gets promoted he's a, a soldier in the german army and he gets promoted and they have to move close to this concentration camp and bruno meets a jewish boy exactly his age on the other side of the fence named schmoll it is like extremely sad but the voice was kind of annoying the, the boy didn't know like anything that was going on and he was like 10 years old so i'm not really sure i mean i didn't grow up in that time so kids might have been a lot more sheltered i don't know now it's like everyone knows about nazi germany so it's like weird to think that a 10 year old wouldn't know anything about that because i definitely learned about it before the age of 10. it's definitely not probably not as enjoyable to read as an adult only three and a half out of five stars from me the next book that i read last month was winter illusion of the lunar chronicles this one i gave a four and a half out of five stars it's definitely one of my favorite conclusions to a series we got a lot of resolution in here but there were some parts that were kind of frustrating about the story still a great conclusion a lot of series flop with their conclusions i've noticed and but this one i think did a pretty great job i really enjoyed this entire series I am so happy to have finally read it. And the last book that I read this month was The Great Beard Book by Neil Gaiman. I actually listened to this one on audiobook as well, um, but I also took a look at like some of these illustrations that are really cool. Like, they span over like several pages and stuff sometimes. So the illustrations were really amazing. I listened to the full cast audiobook, which was also like really interesting it's kind of like listening to a really 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 long play while it was enjoyable i wasn't super attached to any of the characters or the story like that much like i wasn't dying to get back into it yeah i only rated it a three out of five stars but like i did really enjoy the production of the audiobook so like the audiobook itself was a five out of five stars and i also really enjoy the illustrations but i read this as part of the fall into reading a thon so that was really fun all right well those are all of the books that i read in the month of september <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out my social media please look in the description all of the links will be there i make videos every wednesday <laughs> hopefully the cats and i will see you next week say bye bye serious oh he's waving <laughs> He's waving his little paw. Did you see? Say bye. Sorry. This probably feels like torture to him. Okay.